Hello, how are you? Wait one quick second while I get the uh, Instagram family together. Just two seconds. Uh, I do appreciate you for coming. Okay, here we go. And yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, thank you for coming to the Warrior Archetype Tantric Man Horoscope May 2022. So if you have just taken a second to look at these cards, don't look too hard. Just use your intuitive. Do one, two, or three, one, two, or three cards. You can do this one of two ways. You can either know which type of archetype you want to work on and go specifically to that uh, video, or you can choose the card method where you just really quickly choose whatever card resonates you with we, resonates with you and pick that particular type of video. So being that this is the warrior card, if you have chosen this card, then this is your reading uh, for the month of May here, as you can see the side. Okay, so the thing for you right here is that your reading came back in blessings as well. Blessings coming from your own hands, like some inborn gift that you didn't think you had, that you had, it's going to manifest forward and it is going to be beneficial for you. And it's pretty much guaranteed. So there's not, I mean, you all you got to do is pretty much sit back and look pretty. You're at that type of reading. Okay. Um. You may feel low overwhelmed with responsibility of a job or child rearing and and what you don't have you can't give away assess where you are right now not the past or not the future so staying very present is going to be ideal for you okay so before we get into this reading and getting all the details, I got to tell you a couple of events and things that are happening. We have some merch going on. I also have a cool app I want to show you. I think it'll be very beneficial to you guys as men. And then at the end, we're going to talk about a Juneteenth challenge at the end of the uh, reading. So the first thing I'm going to do is change screens right here. And if you're on Instagram, I'm doing we're going to go back into the reading. Okay, so like I said, back to the reading. So you're, you have a gift, okay? You have a gift. It is guaranteed. It is coming online. It is going to help you in the next two weeks to a month. And it probably is right on time because it talks about being overwhelmed with responsibility or a job. And you cannot give what you do not have. Do not overextend yourself and learn to access where you're at and live in the moment, okay? So for my style is very simple. Let me just introduce myself. My name is uh, Tamana. I am your divination reader for the day. I've been divining for over 10 plus years. I've also traveled other schools of thought to bring you a wealth of knowledge to your reading. These readings are good for 14 days. It covers a little bit about your past, what's going on with you right now, and somewhat into the future, probably about a month. 14 days to a month, okay? These readings are ideal for those who, i.e. husbands, those in a serious relationship, fiancés, things like that, in order to help you become a better you, okay? So this is my style. I like to figure out which Arisha is speaking and then go line for line and see which ones pertain to you. If it pertains to you, I tell you. If it doesn't, then we just keep going, okay? It talks about you being a little hypersensitive, not sleeping well, dreams of dead people in the night. There are three people. No, there are three people who pretend to be interested in you: a white person, one with gray hair, and another. Be careful; one of them doesn't bring you gossip. Instead, that you said it. And be careful; one of them doesn't bring you sickness because COVID is still very, very real. Okay. Also talks about someone in your family member jealous of you and kind of, you know, is hating. You just a hater, dude. You have some hair in your family. They want you to, you know, get in trouble and disappear. They want you to have some type of argument with someone you get along well with them. But the OD says don't pay attention to them because the only reason they're there is to frustrate you. Okay. So when we're talking about OD, OD is the mother. Okay. It's Yamoja. Yamoja is the main speaker. 
So we're talking about mother, emotional mother. We're talking about doing things as a system, systematic. We're talking about emotions. We're also talking about big business and relationships, like uh, customary relationships, like marriage is a, is a customary relationship. I'm not talking about go down piece of paper, you know, uh, legally binding contract marriage. No, I'm talking about, you know, marriage with like ceremony and friends and families and commitments and vows, like that type, okay? Not when it's becoming commercialized, if that makes sense, okay? All right, so don't eat or drink in the house of anyone. Make sure I'm doing this right. So if you like what you hear, it's resonating with you, think somebody else could use that, uh, please like and share, you know? You have the gift of seeing your enemies in your sleep. So if you're getting enough rest, you, you're going to be psychic. OD speaks of sickness, fright, death, and gossip. And what that means is that could be in your space. You could be overextending yourself. You know, you could be having fear, false evidence appearing real. Like it's just you're either too much in the past or too scared of the future, you know, or, or too scared to look like uh, you don't have your stuff together, like you're not dependable, all for the sake of appeasing other people rather than just focusing on the basics. What can you do? What can you not do? And being okay with that and standing in your truth. Just checking my control. What I said was about decent. Okay. Uh, I also talked about mental health. So mental health is a really big topic for us right now. And it is right now for you. Um, mental health, you can either see a mental health provider, you do a mentor, like a men's group, men's group, a single person could be a mentor, somebody you need to talk to and you need to establish it on a routine basis. Like once a month, go see them. Twice a month, whatever you establish, establish a routine with it because you need it, okay? So like I said, these readings are good for 14 days. It covers a little bit about your past, what's going on with you right now, and 14 days into the future. Take great care to bring happiness in your home. If you are married because vulnerability, people working you through juju to break up your house. Do arguments is where these negative spirits come. You should make sure to follow all your hunches. Make sure you strengthen family relationships. Okay, so that way to go. Also says avoid the plaza. I Meaning, don't walk in the. Okay, I'm just gonna read what it says. Just don't want to go in the plaza. The plaza is like the marketplace. Never go by one of the corners. Walk by the middle. Should not go to the beach. So don't hit the corners. Just stay in the middle, okay? Be careful of talking in front of little children. They can give you away. Be careful of the law because people might raise a lot of accusations. Talks about Charlie horses, stiffness of joints. Okay, if you, okay. Okay, so these readings are typically geared toward men in relationships, but I know people do what they want to do, okay? But I know I also specifically said, you know, I believe I said it on this one. No, I did not. No, I did. Adultery is dangerous. Do not leave your customs. Um, it, and, it, and if you do, it says that you have a propensity for venereal disease. So just make sure you're protected if you're going to do all that. And with that, I'm going to move on. So the animal job punishes stubborn children through bleeding through the rectum or VD. 
So don't be hard-headed with it. This stuff is real that's out here. And I mean, who wants to take a pill for the rest of their life because they had like, even if on a good day, and you know, a couple of hours of enjoyment, but now you gotta take a pill for the rest of your life. That's that's not worth it. Okay, you should not eat ram. Ram is lamb. No, ram is not lamb. Yes, ram is a male, male lamb. Okras or intestines of birds or animals. Trouble with your eyes, glasses when you get older. Respect your eyes. Put on the blue light filter. Don't be reading in the dark if you're not supposed to read in the dark. Easily forgets things and forgets where you put things. Okay. Where the hole was first up. Okay, so this is good. So she's saying that, you know, if you can, if you can calm down, stay in the present, make sure you get enough sleep so you get these psychic visions, you'll be able to navigate through the haters, right? you got some haters but you only have haters when you're doing it right you don't get haters when you're not doing good i mean nobody wants it's kind of like a penny on the ground nobody picks up the penny right they want it when it's doing good like a hundred dollar bill that won't stay on the ground do you understand what i'm saying but at the same time you know we have to stay the course we cannot leave our custom okay also have to respect our eyes and is some type of rogations, head rogations, like easily forgetting where you put things, under stress, needing some mental de-stress, needing somebody to talk to on a mental level, okay? That is OD. Then you have Ogunda. Ogunda deals with arguments, contracts, things in threes, husbandry, uh, which is like taking care of animals, farming, right? It also deals with the lottery a little bit business a little bit because he deals with the contracts okay so as my style like i said i go line for line i go to the old dude that was pertaining to you and then i go line for line okay this also says that you think about hitting with someone with iron this is the second second one y'all talking about i'm gonna come to blows i'm gonna bring him the business it says the consultant has ideas of hitting someone with the iron and so you too might stretch yourself into a spasm like you're internalizing the anger and it's turning in on itself, right? This is how ulcers come up, right? This is also how hernias come up, okay? Ogun says you've done, so you said you've done something and everyone can see it, can put you in an awkward position, of awkward position of authority and justice that can see what you've done. Smoking herb or drinking right now is not ideal. It can only make your mind worse. It's talked about three people fighting for the same thing. Each one feels they, they have a right to the object. They should divide the disputed object equitably, and that's how to solve that agreement. It says you should not do favors for anyone right now, okay? Never do things in groups of three, okay? Working with the dirt is very ideal for you, and you're very confident right now, which is nothing wrong with that. Just make sure it doesn't like become narcissistic. Again, you too, talking about doctors and medicine men are mentioned here. So twice about doctors. One is a mental doctor, and one is here we're talking about medicine men, like herbologists, herbology, needing to take something to help. So if you are thinking about um, going to establish a connection with a mental health professional. Uh, you can also check out an herbologist, uh, certified herbologist. So, I mean, there are alternatives. You don't always have to go the Western route. But what I am telling you is that you need to do something, okay? Be careful of bony women. Watch out for Shango and Abatala people. And some of you guys may not know what that means, and I'm about to help you in just a second. Just making sure I don't skip anything. Okay, Abatala people are people who are like executive type, since this is a Tantra thing, uh, executive type person. So there's someone who um, does long-term plans, 
someone who is very deductive, someone who is in a leadership position, someone who is seasoned and experienced uh, in business or, or urban or community development, like that, okay? Right now, that energy is probably not ideal for you. And then a shamba person is somebody who is they're very, they're very flashy, very boisterous, very egotistical. They like money. Uh, sometimes they're good with money. It doesn't mean necessarily they can hold on to money, but they are very good at money. They also too have a very a regal, uh, uh, royal, aristocratic type attitude. And uh, sometimes they lie, you know. So it's, it, that is one of Shango's negative traits: is that they are liars. They don't keep their promises. And no matter how big or small, they can get really heated. And they, they're not good at um, taking constructive criticism, at least not at this time. So those type of people kind of like, you know, if you have friends like that, that's cool. Nobody say don't be friends with them. Just saying that energy is not very helpful for you right now in this moment, especially when you need to do you. You need to focus on what you can do versus trying to appease people. Never mind. You do you. Just focus on yourself right now. Yeah. Scratch those last two, like, that, those last two sentences. No, they don't pertain to you. Okay? So moving on. Okay. Mm. Seeing clarification. Yeah, you need to do you need to do a house cleaning. Like you need to go to one of your spiritual professionals. And be like, hey, you need to spiritually clean my house because it needs to be done. So that's why it was taking me so long because one of the dudes was, hey, you need to clean the house and all of that with uh, a certain type of way and. And I'm trying to make it so that it is effective uh, and meeting you where you're at right now on your journey, if that makes sense. So you need to go to your spiritual professional and get a house clean. And if you can't find one, just PM me and I'll direct you to somebody who can help you or I can help you out. It doesn't matter as long as you get it done, okay? Okay, so again, you too play the numbers. Do not change your number. Like if you have a number in mind, don't change that number. Play that number. Play the lottery. That's what it says. Okay, and that is it for Oguna. And then you have O'Shea. Okay, so O'Shea deals with love, time, trial, children, creates endeavors. Creative endeavors, making money, aesthetics, things are appealing, refinement, parties, beautifulness of life, the beautifulness of people, pretty people, uh, things like that. The goodness of life, just the things that make life enjoyable. That is her realm. She is a water deity. Her colors are yellow and a bit of orange. Okay. Her, her, uh, her items are like pumpkin, mirrors. She's Aphrodite. If you're looking at other um, cross pantheons, she's Hathor or Hathar in Egypt, uh, the Netaru pantheon. So this is who's speaking now, okay? So you got, you got influential influential power. You have the power of the tongue. You can influence at this time. So, uh, she says be mindful though because you can influence positively or you can influence negatively. So you've done things for people and you don't see the results. Never mind. I don't pertain to you. Never mind. The things happening to you, oh, she wants them that way. She so that talks to me about 
experiential learning. Like nobody can tell you it. Like you just have to go through it. You have to grow through your stuff right now. Take good care of Ogun and Oshun. There's more so Oshun. So with that one, I had to throw to be specific. There's more so Oshun. She wants something for you. And based on, no, I'm not going to assume. I'm just going to throw. Okay. Okay, be careful with this stomach. Something about this, this stomach that doesn't make you ill. Some type of illness with the stomach. No abortion. If you get pregnant around this time, it'll, that baby is blessing and it will be your happiness. You should not try to kill it with juju vibes or suffer and you will, or you will suffer forever with trying to have babies. Your luck will get worse. And this is very serious. When you tr It says you will kill it with vibes or juju and you will suffer with your womb forever. Your luck will get worse. But this is for men. So you will suffer with trying to conceive a baby because you have put that energy out. And this is this goes directly into a soul torn or a soul tear of when the baby actually feels that. Right. And so it become it creates little micro holes in the auric field that make it easy for dirt and grime and entities and parasites and detrimental patterning to get into the body and cause problems. And not only that, that as a child grows and is trying to manifest and do endeavors that are positive and be an upstanding citizen. Uh, the energy leaks out, kind of like a house that needs caulking or weather stripping or, you know, energy saving. It, it doesn't have that energy saving that's there. So it may cost twice as much to heat the house because the house is not fully tight and secure. That is what these juju vibes do to one's auric fields who are receiving it. So if you think this because she is just recently pregnant and it does not affect the baby, how you feel and how you talk to her, you are sadly mistaken because everything is energy. Everything is energy. Even thoughts and words have power because it's energy, especially on the most vulnerable. Just be mindful. Be mindful. So talk about pawning jewelry. So said, don't be, don't try not to pawn any jewelry. Talks about affairs still undercover. People thought it was finished, but it's not quite. Again, if you like what you hear and you think somebody could use this, please like and like and share. Uh, don't curse other people. Okay. These readings are good for 14 days. It covers a little bit about your past, what's going on with you right now, and 14 days into the future. It talks about having an enemy in your home, some type of someone that you are inviting, or maybe uh, you guys are at odds. Sometimes it's a teenager. All it takes is a teenager. They, you know, you're being a parent, and you know the, their life is over. You're ruining their life, and you know sometimes it's that. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Never mind. She says, do something nice for yourself. The 
the blood that runs through the veins. So again, uh, herbs is mentioned here. You need a blood cleanser. So we've already talked about doctors, doctors and herbology. So there's some type of herbs that you need to be taking to keep calm and focus and for the mental. Uh, I'll let them assess that. It's exactly what type of mental herb. But you also need a blood cleaner for you to take at this time. And that is, that is it for Oshun. So uh, recap, you need mental health professional, mental health team. Okay. You need herbs, herbs for the blood, herbs for the mental, right? But you are very, I mean, you have some influential power. Like you have the power to influence. And your gifts are coming online. I just want to make sure, let me see if you can see this. I just want to make sure that you can see this before that you that you see that you have a gift before you know people say, well, yeah, he does have a gift. Let me see how I can use it to my advantage. No, no, no. You know. Uh, do some, you know, self-reflection if that helps. Okay, so that is your monthly reading for the hunter or the warrior. And so in a positive light, the warrior will defend the house from all threats, civil, legal, criminal, psychological, even his own life he will defend uh, and, and sacrifice in order to protect those that he loves. He moves obstructions out of his path where you are attached in, in love to that person. Let me reread. Let me reread that. Because that quite didn't make sense. Okay, so the warrior's attributes are the act in the art of engagement, the capacity to confront obstructions in life based on a set of codes and boundaries. Okay. The warrior's traits is protective, rigid, paternal, and aging. Okay. On a negative note, the warrior is saying that you belong to me. Stay hidden so the troubles do not follow you back to me. I cannot risk myself due to your carelessness. Submit to my authority or I will punish you. It is important to note that while a man is born with the tendencies to be masculine, that doesn't mean that he will automatically follow the prescribed path. Being defined as a man by gender and being defined being masculine by energy are two separate things. The masculine energy causes a child to be born with male genes and the male reproductive organs. This is all physical. Once a child is born and has a physical qualities of genes and reproductive organs, he is by gender a man, but after that, it is all choice. So that is your monthly reading for this month, May 2022, for the warrior archetype. There also is a one more final thing, which is the Juneteenth challenge, the Juneteenth pledge. We all know that negative that slavery has had a negative impact on uh, black people as a whole. So said so we came together and said, wouldn't it be great if we can take all this negative sweat equity energy that we gave during slave slavery and make a pledge for one year to volunteer in our community to put some positive sweat equity in there for us to promote our agenda and for us to be whole again. So the Juneteenth pledge is to, for one year, volunteer at, at a community organization or event in your community for one year and share it with us. Share, hashtag Juneteenth, hashtag Juneteenth challenge, Hashtag Juneteenth, play it forward. Share it and we'll uh, share it with others. I hope this was helpful. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.